broke the how broke the how shy broke the how broke the how shy broke the how broke the how ba shim ya shy ba shim kha kudash the blonde city apostles and the elders of great millstone true well Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Sadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the priest Shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled Five Destruction Scriptures. So we did five color scriptures. We did five um, Israel only scriptures. We did five scriptures dealing with the chariots. And today, Lord willing through the Spirit, we're going to go through five destruction scriptures, you know. And um, these scriptures, again, should be scriptures that should be a foundation. It should come at the back of your hand, all right? That's for you brothers that are just coming in, all right? For you uh, brothers that's been around a long time, these scriptures might come like this to you. But still, it's always good to revisit these things because the basics are our foundation. Now, the first scripture I want to go to is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1, all right? So this is the first one you should learn off the back of your head. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Now, what days are talking about? The end of the world, the harvest of the world. Okay. Um, and when I say world, I'm talking about the white man, the white man's rulership. Now, I'm not going to go too much in scriptures in the book of the Apocrypha, um, like Second Esther, the 16th chapter, because the way this app and camera thing is set up, I can't jump over to the Apocrypha. But there's fundamental scriptures in the Apocrypha. But we're going to stick with these scriptures for today. Okay? So it says, Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It's talking about an ancient world oven, meaning it's going to burn instantly. Okay? Um, very quickly. It says, um, And all the proud, now who's the proud? So called white man is very proud, right? A few of the proud, the Marines, they feel like no one could take them out. The two thirds are very proud. These nations are proud. Okay? The Mosai is going to humble them. How? With destruction, with the th in the Third World's War. All right. It says, um, "Yea, and all that do wickedly." Um, and who does wickedly? The scriptures tell you the Book of Job. All right, that the earth was given into the hand in the Book of Job nine and four that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, or the power of the planet Earth was given into the hand of the wicked. All right, you have the sons of God, the sons of men, and you have the sons of the wicked. That's the nation of Esau, Edom. All right. Um, and they do wickedly. It says, shall be stubble, turned to ash. The scripture says, you take it away the wicked like chaff. Okay? So that, the, the mess is going to turn their ass to ash and powder. All right? Stubble. Okay? It says, and they, and, um, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord, Yahweh Yashar, the power of host, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Meaning what? Another fucking braid of glass is going to, um, grow in America when this destruction is all said and done, okay? And root or branch is also going into families, okay? Um, meaning there's not going to be no progenitors left on to pass um, Esau Edom's seed line down, okay? Um, there's not going to be any bunkers with some Edomites uh, surviving a nuclear fallout, none of that shit. It's all going to be burnt up, you know? That's what it means also by root uh, and, and branch. Just like the um, scripture says, his, uh, Yahweh Shai is a root and offspring of David. So that's what it's also going into, okay? All right, now the next scripture. All right, so Malachi 4 and 1 is the first one. This one, Isaiah 66 and 15. I'm going to say something too about sticking with the basics as the Spirit of God is going to the basics. I remember when I first joined the camp and I was reading and a brother and the elder Malak, uh, we, we were talking about the scripture. He said, go to Malachi 4 and 1. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, how does he know that? Like, damn, how did he know to go to that? How does he know the map? It was like, I was like astonished. So, you know, you, some sometimes you might, you know, after a while being in this thing, think, take this thing for like light. But for again, brothers that are just coming in, it's, you know, it's like, damn, you know, you pull in these scriptures and break them down. It's a heavy thing, you know? Um, Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, For behold, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So this is the importance of going in the basics because now you know what the chariots represent. It represents some so-called UFOs if you watch the previous lessons. And I'm going to add this like a playlist so brothers could just watch all of them. See what I'm saying? With fire, all right? How, what fire? Um, laser beams, okay? Laser beams are going to be shot out of the chariots. Meanwhile, this place is being destroyed, okay? The Lord said, what would I be if, the, if I come and the fire is not already kindled to some effect, uh, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So, it's going to be fire upon fire upon this place, man, okay? Which is a purifying agent, by the way. The Lord said he's not going to cleanse the world with water no more, but for, he's going to cleanse the world this time with fire, all right? Specifically, thermal and nuclear fire and angelic fire from the laser beams, okay? It says, with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with 
fury. So the Most High is pissed off at this place, rightfully so. Every single law, statute, and commandment in the Bible is being broken, and the Lord's people are being oppressed. Okay, so that the Most High is pissed off, and and and, and He brought His only begotten Son, and they put Him on a cross. So the Lord is going to come back to fuck shit up. All right, Yahweh Bashim is going to send His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, to fuck shit up, destroy America. Okay, it says, and His rebuke with flames of fire again. That's how this destruction is going to be happening with fire. And verse 16 says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahashai plead with all flesh. Okay? So we don't want to get caught up in, in that fire, man. All right? If any beam that comes on us, we want it to be the tractor beam, man. We don't want it to be a laser beam. We want the tractor beam to be on us, to beam us up and get us out of this destruction. Okay? We want to see this shit from a bird's eye view, man. All right? We don't want to be, you know, in that. It says, um, For by fire and by his sword would the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahashai plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. A lot of, hey, 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter, uh, verse 1 to uh, 3, tells you that uh, there be many be created, but few shall be saved. The majority of the people in the world, you see today, are going to be ash. Think long, think big picture. When you're going through shit and you're going through hell and people are fucking with you, if you think big picture, like yo, this shit is gonna be burnt up. You don't really got really shit to be. You know, they don't let them stress you out too much, man. Okay, because you didn't, you know, look, I'm doing the work of the Lord, and I know, I know through the spirit of the Lord what's good, what's gonna befall this place. All right, and the most of the people I see around me are gonna be ash, man. All right. And I'm praying I don't be of that lot, so I'm going to stick with the word of the Lord. So America shall be destroyed, okay? Um, here we go. Here we go. Another another go-to classic. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. It says, and this shall be the plague. Now, when you read about, when you go to 2nd Ezra 16 chapter, it talks about many plagues. That's when you go to 2nd Ezra 16, then you have a brother bring out Zechariah 14 and 12 and say, wait a minute. And this shall be the plague. Okay, because there's a lot of plagues, but this particular plague right here, that's the plague of all plagues. Now let's see what it's getting into. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahashah, will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Every fucking nation. All right? All 17 nations has fought against Jerusalem. Just read the book of Psalms 83, starting with the nation of Esau, Edom on down. Who's uh, um, Jerusalem? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. These nations have fucked us, put us in slavery, all right? Well, rightfully so, because we want to horn after their gods, okay? But guess what? They still got to pay for that. You can't touch the apple of the most size eye, all right? It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Now, what the fuck can do that, man? Part of my language, but if I hit you with a flamethrower, you're not going to You're not gonna stand there and burn, all right? Unless you're that dude. <laughs> That was protesting Israel. But eventually you scream and fall down. But it's telling you that you're going to melt while you stand. That means it has to be quick. Okay? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's some thermonuclear destruction. Um, just like you see in um, Terminator um, Judgment Day. Okay? Um, while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Meaning... Their actual eyes are going to be consumed in fire and also their visions of the future, all right? What are we going to do in 2050 and flying cars and all this and we're going to still be on top a thousand years from now and shit like that. That's going to be done away with, okay? That's the vision of their future, right? Their new world order, all right? Their new world order is, going to, is not going to come to pass. It's not going to come to fruition, all right? They're going to be on the cusp of it, but it's never going to truly be fulfilled because, the, you know, the Lord... In, this, in the fullness of their sufficiency, they're going to be in straits, okay? Imagine you're about to, you know, eat, shit, break time is at 12, it's 11.59, 11.59, you get destroyed, okay? Like that, all right? It says, and their eyes shall consume away um, in their holes, holes, and their tongue shall consume in away in their mouth, their lies, okay? And their bitter words, all right? That's going to be consumed away with, and their actual tongue, all right? So that's twofold right there. And again, that's one of our backbone scriptures, all right, of going into the destruction. Okay, so we went through Malachi 4 and 1, Isaiah 66 and 15, uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And here's this one, Jeremiah 51 and 11. Now, Jeremiah 50 and 51 is prophesying against Babylon, all right? But 
when you read the destruction and the prophecies against it, it doesn't fit ancient world Babylon because ancient world Babylon was annexed, all right, by the medial Persian Empire. This is talking about future Babylon. The word Babylon, Babal, Lan, means a land of confusion, and that's what America is, spiritually Babylon. Now, Jeremiah 51 and 11 says, make bright the arrows. If you watch the movie 300, they shot arrows that blocked out the sun. It's saying these arrows are going to be bright, meaning what? The missiles, man, all right? The jet propulsion behind them, all right? Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes going into Russia, okay? I'm going to say this too. There's many more destruction scriptures. You can go into Joel, the second chapter, uh, uh, third chapter, Joel 3 and 9, okay? But I'm, you know. I'm going with the fives that I know. So there's other basic um, destruction scriptures, but I'm just trying to, you know, give some ones for the younger brothers to pick up, you know, and for us to refresh and sharpen with, right? It says, um, um, the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon, okay? America, all right? So the Russians got a lot of missiles. America and Russia, they got like a hell of a ton of missiles. It's gonna be them that's gonna, you know, be in the midst of the World War III. They're gonna be gathered over the, in the land of um, Yahweh Shabbat, Jehoshaphat, right, which is the Middle East, all right? Because them small hats are gonna bring them over there because they're gonna be beefing the Middle Eastern nation and entangling alliances is gonna lead to World War III, all right? A war between the Muslims and the, and the, and the Jews, as they say. The Jewish people, okay? It says, For the device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is coming to destroy Babylon. You always hear about that. Babylon is going down the drain. You know, Benjamin be singing about that, so called West Indians. The Babylon they talking about is here, America, all right? It's a sick land, man. All right, now the last one, okay, quickly Revelations 18 and 1. Okay, this is another go to. Destruction scripture, okay? Now it says in, in the book of Revelation 18 and 1, it says, um, it says, And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. It says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils right so that how that's that's not ancient world babylon ancient world babylon is over there in modern day iraq you can you can visit it today all right it's talking about here in america man it says and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird so this place is going to be destroyed and it's really going to be a um a kingdom all right for desert creatures crazy spirits weird birds and all that man all right verse three it says for all the nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth has committed fornication with her right drunk her wine her philosophies her democracies homosexuality lgbtq all the weird shit it says um with her and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through her the abundance of her delicacies right because you know america imports a lot and that's how these nations make money but they're gonna wail and cry all right when this place is destroyed because they can't make money off of it all right and um and um you know this thing is gonna be broadcasted you know that's how come again all the world is gonna see the destruction all right um because it's gonna be broadcasted you know when the lord comes back and destroyed this place all right so those are five destruction scriptures. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakha Kodash, that belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, Yuakim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.